If you want to quickly work with 3D motion graphics, then Element 3D plugin for After Effects gives you a variety of options. This is also great if you are new, relatively new to 3D or if you just don't want to uh, work around with various 3D applications which has heavy uh, workload on your PC. Uh, so to get started with Element 3D, I'm here in my After Effects um, application and I'm going to use Element 3D right here. So let us get started. In order to get started, I'm going to create a new composition on my After Effects uh, application right here. And over here, I'm just going to choose a 720p uh, re resolution composition and going to press OK. So over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a new uh, solid layer in the After Effects timeline, just like this. And here, I have Element 3D installed now. I can simply click and drag Element 3D over here onto the solid layer. And once I do that, what happens is that Element 3D is applied. So you can see that over here on the left side, the element options is here. So you got from scene interface to output. So you work your way out from top to bottom right here. And you can see that there are groups here where we can work with multiple objects. So let us get started. We're going to get started with the scene setup option first. So let us click that out and a new interface, the element 3D interface for previewing the objects actually appear here. So you can see that there are uh, folders right here. You can actually download more uh, shader packs or even uh, models from the video copilot website right there to get started. So I'm going to go over here into the starter pack and you can see that these are the models that I can work with right uh, from the beginning. So what I can do is I can click one of the uh, models that I want to uh, use. So I'm going to click this paint bucket right here and you can see that this is the paint bucket which I can use. So I can scroll, ar scroll around just like this. I can use the scroll mouse button to zoom it in and look through as you can see right here. And here are um, its materials as you can see. So what I can do is I can go over here into my materials as you can see and I can simply click and drag to replace the materials just like that. I can also go over here and pay, uh, paste it on my cap and so forth. So you can see that working with materials is quite easy in Element 3D. You can also create your own 3D objects right here, some basic 3D objects and extrude text as well, work with environment and so forth. So once you're done with everything over here in this window, you can simply press OK and the paint bucket will be available over here as you can see. So right by default, this appears in group one and we'll learn about how to work with multiple groups in further lessons. So here you can see that there are some options over here, such as particle replicator and so forth. And right now I'm going to go over here into the replicator shape. Let us go for something uh, like a ring right here and I'm going to increase the particle count and you can see that multiple particles are actually are appearing just like that. So and the rendering, rendering time is quite less because it is directly using my graphical processing unit or my ZPU. So over here you can see that this is a group. You can work with the animation engine then to work with different kind of animations, smoothness, randomness and so forth. Uh, you can work around with transformation right here for some more animation, position animation right here. You can work with custom layers as well. So if you want to work with text and texture maps, then you can use uh, this area right here. There's some other utilities right here to work with 3D positions and group export and so forth right here. There are some render settings for some final touch. For example, you can add in some fog, you can add in lighting, shadows, reflection and so forth and you can go for the output mode. So right now it's on full render. You can also go for draft if you just want to view uh, some certain uh, type of render for faster workflow. So we're going to uh, see all of these options in the further lessons. So that, that is how you get started with Element 3D and work around Element 3D. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.